Welcome to a new vlog. This will be a rather short project video. I thought I'd start the year with something simple and if you've ever used JTAG before either to program or debug an ARM processor or something like an ESP32 or uh, maybe to load the bitstream into an F FPGA you've likely encountered the uh, ubiquitous 20-pin uh, JTAG connector which is this uh, 2x10 0.1 inch spaced connector it's a rather large connector it takes up uh, a lot of space on a PCB but you can't go without it because it's usually present on the uh, uh, fully featured uh, programmer slash debugging tools. Here is an example. This is the ST-Link V2 or to be precise a chip clone from AliExpress but for the purpose of this discussion it doesn't matter. It looks the same as the original and it has a 20 pin JTAG connector. And the same story goes for I don't know FPGA uh, programming tools or other uh, JTAG uh, ARM uh, debuggers like, like the JSEGR. They all have this 20 pin port. And to some extent, this isn't even a problem for you if you're using big development boards like this STM32F4 development board. This has the big connector, the big 20 pin connector for programming. So it's just a matter of connecting this uh, uh, ribbon cable between the board and the uh, debugging tool. However, most uh, modern boards that you're going to be designing might not have enough space to install such a uh, large connector. So you might, for example, use the simpler 10-pin uh, JTAG connection because you don't even need that many signals. Most of the pins are ground anyway on the 20-pin connection. And instead of using a uh, 25 millimeter pin uh, pitch header you can use something smaller like uh, half the size 1.27 millimeters and this can save a lot of space on a, a compact PCB. And this is where this project starts. I designed my own uh, JTAG adapter PCB from uh, 20 pin 0.1 inch to 10 pin 0.05 inch uh, so that's basically 2.54 millimeter to 1.27 millimeter and these are the PCBs which I got from PCBWay I ordered these uh, right before Christmas and PCBWay did a wonderful job and shipped these uh, to me before Christmas uh, I opted for gold plating and a green solder mask uh, I think they look really nice and it's aligned with my brand color which is green Make sure you check out PCBWay.com if you plan to order some PCBs. And this small adapter will allow me to use a smaller programming connector on future boards that I plan to design. So let me take a short break to assemble one of these and I'll show you how it works. And this is how the board looks when it's fully assembled. We have this 20 pin female header on the PCB edge and male header on this side with a keyed shroud. One particular thing that I would have liked to have is this uh, female header to have a key so that you can only insert it in the uh, correct orientation into your programming debugging port. However, I couldn't easily find such a uh, connector with a key uh, at some point I did find the seller on AliExpress but it was just too expensive when compared to the regular connectors it was like 10 times uh, more expensive so uh, it was not worth uh, buying that. So I'll keep this on my to-do list for my next Mauser or DigiKey order and uh, get it from them if they have something like that in their uh, catalog or you can uh, I don't know use like a paint marker and draw a, a key on this side so you know it's always supposed to go in uh, this way or as an alternative you could also find like a small uh, strip of plastic that you can um, uh, use some uh, cyanoacrylate glue and stick it to this side and uh, have it act like a key to prevent you from uh, plugging this the other way around 
I have also ordered some of these uh, 1.27 millimeter uh, pitch flat ribbon cables. Uh, these are specifically picked for this project. So you would plug one of these in here, something like this. You would plug this into the uh, programming tool and then you would have your target. Let's suppose this is your target and you would connect something like this. And it, as you can see, one of these uh, connectors takes so much less space on your target uh, PCB when compared to uh, it's half the size of this 10 pin one. And if you'd have a 20 pin one, like the uh, full JTAG connector, just compare it to this one. You can see it's like four or five times smaller to have this 1.27 millimeter connector. From this point forward, there isn't much to be said about this uh, simple adapter board. You just connect it and it works, but it's worth having something like this and standardizing internally on the boards you design so they all feature the same programming debugging port. I'm also working on standardizing expressive based projects with a uh, specific pin header for programming and debugging, one that would take up little space on the target PCB, but uh, I'll talk more about that in a separate video. If you'd like to order one of these uh, ready assembled, check out a link to my Tindy store in the description below and I'll also place it on screen right now. I will make a few available for purchase, but do note, uh, quantity will be limited. I have recently added the uh, cheaper shipping options to my Tindy store, so that should make it worthwhile for ordering uh, small stuff like this. I would really appreciate your feedback in the comments. Tell me if you like this design, if you have done it differently, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, hit that like button because it really helps and I will see you next time.